San Bernardino County, California, after a two and a half hour chase. Pushak, who authorities say has a lengthy criminal history, allegedly fled deputies who were serving a search warrant, taking off by car and then on horseback before law enforcement eventually of that beating. Absolutely. And my understanding is that one of the deputies whispered something to you while that was happening, or you say he did? After, after ram his vehicle that he was driving, he was in a motor vehicle, and at that time, uh, he believed that he was in danger, and he, he, can, he uh, continued on, and he tried to get away from the police officer, especially the one that tried to ram him. And this is what starts uh, this whole thing with the, with the, uh, uh, the pursuit. Mr. Pusha, can you, can you— uh... I was under the belief that he was going to be beaten, if, if not killed by them. And, Can you explain uh, why that's the case? Pursuit. I mean, was there was was there before this incident? Was there reason to believe that they bore him some grudge? There absolutely is. There's two other incidents that that we know of, where they came over and had beaten him in the past. They were. Police in two states are under fire after video captured officers violently beating a suspect after he appeared to surrender, and it all played out on live TV. The suspect led police on a multi-state car chase Wednesday night before he was captured. State police say the chase began in Holden, Massachusetts, and ended an hour later in a residential neighborhood in Nashua, New Hampshire. That's where the driver got out of the car. Video captured by a helicopter camera appears to show police punching the man repeatedly while on his hands and knees. Other officers appear to join in. The man was then handcuffed and taken into custody. The chase and beating aired live on some local TV stations. Massachusetts State Police have since released a statement which read in part, the video captured by news helicopters shows a use of force against the suspect. That review will investigate whether the level of force used was appropriate given the totality of the circumstances. Authorities have identified the suspect as 50-year-old Richard Simone. They say he is the subject of multiple warrants for assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, larceny and failure to stop for police. Okay. 